to race. But this is now a race between two men. Look at the bikes on the right-hand side of the shot, how quickly they're going, tells you how fast these men are running. And incidentally, in the Berlin Marathon, Haile Gabriel Selassie ran the 42 kilometres, averaging 2.57 per kilometre, and that is quite astonishing. Two hours, 3.9, which was a world record, a world best time. And he's, uh, since that time, has just gone better and better on the shorter races, and he seems to be winding it up just a little bit here. Now, this will be a real test of the character of Macau because he stuck with uh, Gabriel Selassie for a long, long time. Now, can he stay with him here? This is significant. Look at the ease with which he took that water. The way he's now just moving ahead. Gabriel Selassie, his best time, 41.38, which is, what, nine seconds outside the world record. Well, certainly Catherine Andereba of Kenya now has dominated this race from halfway, closing in on the finish now, tight left, then tight right turn in towards the finish. And now we're picking up second and third, and uh, as uh, Andereba comes down towards the finish. Good run by this athlete, very, very talented indeed. They're just coming into the straight, well, it's Alice Mason of New Zealand, Wearing 81, the 21-year-old, a hole ahead there of Lisa Waitman, who incidentally was 20th in the World Cross Country Championships this year. Big improvement on her 42nd last year in Mombasa, but that's the sort of talent that the newcomer, the 21-year-old, has beaten. But Ander Reba was certainly the class act of this race, and she takes it very comfortably. Indeed, her time, 50-43, and that's pretty quick. She's run faster, but then uh, she didn't have to run much faster than that today. It looked very comfortable throughout. And what about Alice Mason, though, just 21, only been running for a couple of years, wants to be a doctor, she's an embryologist at the moment, and uh, says that Haile Gabriel Selassie was a hero. Well, she's taken a leaf out of his book today and beaten a very good athlete in Lisa Waitman. And uh, Waitman really tried hard in this race, as did uh, Yoshida of Japan. Just uh, run down a very fast second half by Alice Mason to take these two who were always in contention early on and throughout the race, really. Now, Benita Johnson should be next in. I think we can see her. There she comes. Benita has not had a great season, I must say, but uh, I've no doubt she'll go away and come back next year. She's a very, very fine athlete and will prove it again, I'm sure. Well, certainly Haile Gabriel Selassie is in the position that we usually associate with him. He's in the lead. He's in the lead by a significant distance. And this is the man in second. He's about 30 seconds behind now. is Patrick McCall. And the red-vested... Collis Birmingham now in third place. Well, that means that he must have overtaken Craig Mottram, and Mottram is back now in fourth. Well, that's a bit of a turn-up. Certainly, though, uh, Collis Birmingham had been running well in the United Kingdom. We'd seen him several times and has performed quite well here. And Craig Mottram will be a bit disappointed with that. But Patrick Macau, really, who stayed with Gabri Selassie, what, for 11 kilometres. It was at about 11 kilometres that the break from this man came. And it was, as always, significant. A little glance over the shoulder and uh, really no need. Just checking, just to see whether there was anyone in de who was in a danger position and not so. Macau's just too far behind to challenge now. And uh, highly Gabri Selassie. It's worth remembering that uh, he's one of a great string of great Ethiopian long-distance runners over the years, and still they come. And that's the scene as he approaches the final... Straight way, he's got just that right turn to go. And then he'll be greeted by the crowd around at the finish. 26 world records set in his career thus far. Not only outdoors, indoors as well. Four times world 10,000 metre champion. World record holder for the marathon. And uh, really, there's so much more to come. If anyone believes that a marathon can be run in under two hours, then perhaps this is the man who might well challenge it. He really is a very, very special being indeed. Just a few metres to go then to the finish. And the favourite, the man who always delights the crowds, Haile Gabriel Selassie of Ethiopia, is the champion. Brilliant, brilliant run. Took Macau, Patrick Macau of Kenya and also a Birchfield Harry, as I'm told. It took him well when it mattered, and Macau had no answer. But nevertheless, a good performance by this man. 
twice world half marathon silver medalist, remember, is a sub 60 minute half marathon man. So he is a talent, but he found his master today. Now then, let's have a look for third place. It was, I think, Collis Birmingham. It looked as though he's a Beijing Olympian, incidentally, over 5,000 metres. He's coming down now. The Australian 10,000-metre champion last year. And uh, that was a very good run. He must have run the second half of the race faster than the first. He really did make a difference in the second seven and a half kilometres. And Craig Mottram, well, found life a little bit tough, didn't he, in the final stages. There were some that were saying that perhaps he might challenge uh, Haile Gabri Selassie. But not so today, but Craig's a good athlete too, and he'll be, he'll be back. Well, in Dereba's time, 50-43 from Alison Mason and Lisa Waitman. They're the top three. I just wonder what uh, Catherine and Dereba thought about all of that. What a good run she had. You're about two minutes off your best time. What about the conditions through Melbourne City streets? Uh, the condition is good and uh, it's a good start. And uh, as I'm looking forward now for the next season, uh, it's kind of a very good start. Well, let's bring you up to date with the men's result now. Look at that time. Haile Gabri Selassie, 42.39. And Patrick Macau from Collis, Birmingham. Well, what about the champion? What's he got to say? I didn't expect Motram, you know, he ran so good. And uh, the Kenyan guy, of course, he's a very strong one. And uh, just he, he's one of my challenge, you know, during the rest. I was, I was really uh, happy, you know, just uh, except, you know, it's tough, you know, just because of the jet lag. I didn't sleep, you know, the last two days. And 